Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Um, glad to be here to welcome Mark to the club and to you guys as well. Um, this press conference will take the usual format of the broadcast section first and then the written section afterwards. Um, we're going to do everything in English as well, so no, no questions in Spanish, please. Um, and if you're ready, we're going to start with Michael at Sky. Hello, Mark. No. Uh, wow, what an interesting debut. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. Uh, last, the last weeks are too busy for me, but I'm happy to, to stay here. I remember I training only one day to, to debut in, in Goodison Park, but the team win and I'm very happy to, to stay here and to adapt in, in the team. Were you aware of the intensity of the match with Tottenham? Were you told your home debut, what a big match it is for Chelsea. Yeah, it's a, it's a derby, all the, all, the, all the derbies are, are difficult, are a, lot, a good atmosphere, are very sometimes stationed, but I think the, the team plays really good. I think uh, we, we create uh, more chances to, to win the game, but we, we draw in, in the last minutes, but I think the, the performance of the team are really good. How is the hair? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, though, were you surprised that play carried on and the referee didn't check it so, or there wasn't a foul given? Yeah, for me, yes, because it's too clear. Maybe in the game, I, in, in the pitch, I didn't see the, in the TV the, the, the video, but I think in the video is, is very clear. But this is maybe one error to the, to the referee or to the bar, but maybe sometimes the referees are good decisions sometimes not good decisions but this is not not my problem uh, the players are think focus on the game and maybe we need um um work work hard to maybe no score this no concede the last this goal in, in the last minute for the for the next games what did he say to you when the incident happened no nothing but the referee i think i i see in the in the um, in the stadium, uh, checking to to red car and, I, and 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 for me it's very clear and I think the the video is is very clear. But in this moment, the referee, I don't know what happened, but sometimes uh, it's good, sometimes it's bad. I think it's it's like uh, it, this is this is football and and I think in, in this in this game is like an error, but maybe in, in another games the referee take a, a good decisions. Certainly a home debut to remember. And Mark, what was your summer like? Because you were talked about throughout the summer, Manchester City we were very interested in you. What, what was it like for you? Tell me about your summer. Yeah, the summer is uh, busy, but uh, a lot of rumours. And, and I think it's like before come here is when I stay in Brighton in summer, I think it's, it's a good moment for me to move to a big club. And I think uh, Chelsea is a big club. Uh, I'm very happy to, to stay here. They they um, they are uh, some interested for me all, all, all the summer and, and I'm happy to, to stay here. When Manchester City didn't proceed, of course, Chelsea's interest came in. They paid the money for you. How do you feel about that? And also, when you heard of Chelsea's interest, were you very keen to come here as soon as possible? Yeah, I'm very happy because uh, it's it's a lot of money and I think it's a big responsibility for me, but, but I'm happy because the Todd um, and, the, and the GAFA um, are um, in some or too much interest for, for me, for me come here and I'm very happy to stay here and I need work hard, uh, adapt to the team, um, uh, work hard and, and, and this win to win and I play good for, for the club. It was a very entertaining game for the neutral. I know you wanted to win, but how much did you enjoy being part of it and everything that happened at the end? No, it's, it's amazing. I think I, I, I remember um, last season when we played in Brighton. We scored in the, in the last minute and, and I remember all the stadium, the atmosphere is very good, all the, all the fans all the time sing. And I think play with, with home is, is very nice. The stadium are very famous. It's a, a history stadium and play for this club is, is uh, very nice for me. Um, what is your best position, do you think, Mark? You're fantastic running down that wing, but they say you can maybe go in the centre of the three on the left-hand side, 
what's your preference? Yeah, I think uh, all the three positions in the in the left side I, I, is good for me. Uh, but I think my my best position is maybe in back four, uh, left left back because I play all my career in the academies uh, in this position and I have uh, more more movements and I'm I'm stay more comfortable. But uh, if the gaffer um, put me in another position, I I run uh, as well and I need uh, to be good for for the team. You had a fantastic season at Brighton. Do you have a message for their fans and Graham Potter? Because obviously they're upset to see you go. They understand. They got good money for you. But do you have a message for them? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, this when I come when I came here well, to Brighton is is difficult for me, but they help me a lot. They I need change to to the to the country, to the new language for my family. It's very difficult the first months, but they help and the, and the coach give me the opportunity to play in the Premier League, this club, and for me it's a fantastic year. It's maybe one or, or maybe the best year in my career, and I'm very happy to to all of all of them, to the fans, and, and I'm very happy to, to the Seagulls. Thank you. Okay, George, Mark, sorry to go back to your hair, but does it hurt when Christian pulled your hair. Did it hurt on on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's it's for me. It's no problem because he, this is, is is before the game. Always I speak with him, and maybe it's a is a a fight in into the pitch. But I have a problem for he, for to him, and, and I think it's only one one action in the game. But maybe it's a, a important action because uh, it's possible change the the res, the final result. But I think in we have a in another opportunity in a, in a few months and, and this is uh, our, our opportunity. Are you going to get your hair cut? No, no, never, never. This is my style. Um, what was the first conversation you had with Thomas Tuchel when, when he signed you? What does he want from you and what can the team achieve this season? No, the, I, I'm surprised because uh, this is very happy. Uh, they meet me when I play in Barcelona Academy and I'm very surprised because He's a, a big guy, and, and I don't know why the, he meet me, but I'm very happy. He say I need work hard. He's very happy to to stay here, and, and for me, it's, it's very opportunity because I need um, um, give uh, they give me the opportunity, they need the, this opportunity, and I need uh, work hard to to for him. You took a corner on Saturday, which led to. Um Koulibaly's volley. I just wondered, are you any good at free kicks? Do you want to be a free kick taker at Chelsea this season? No, I think uh, it's, it's difficult the free kicks, but uh, in Brighton I training, but here are a good of good players to, to take the free kicks. Maybe if if they have the opportunity, I, I should one free kick and score hundred <laughs> percent. Um, and just in terms of what do you want to achieve at Chelsea? You signed a six-year contract, so what do you want to achieve? Do you think this team can win the league this season and compete with Man City and Liverpool? Yeah, I think we have a good team, uh, a, a lot of uh, young players. Like win the win trophies is like very difficult, but we we work hard all all the season for for these moments. I think the team have experience to big big trophies. And I think this this is our objective in this in this season is like win win trophies and and obviously the Premier League is is one of of the best. And you've got Ben Chilwell, who's another good left back, left wing back. So are you going to compete with him, or do you want to be good teammates pushing each other on? No, of course they is uh, they help me a lot in in this in this in these first days. This is very good person, and I think it is good the competition because. Uh, we uh, we need a uh, work hard to to play in one position. We have two players for one position, and, and if one player is better, but the this gaffer put put in the in the lineup, and this is is, is I think this is good for for the team. Thank okay, we've got uh, Raman, please. Yeah, cool, cool. can I just ask you about the hair? But just quickly, have you ever had a pull? Sorry, Raman, can we move on from the hair? We've spoken about it extensively, now. It's a bit boring. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know if you have ever had a pool. No, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from that. Okay, sorry, Nick. Um, hi, Mark. Um, like they were just saying about the, the six-year contract, obviously that's that's um, the club showing a lot of faith in you and your ability and ability to, to improve as well in the coming in the best years of your career potentially. Um, what what did the, the the owners say about you know? Obviously, that's quite a long contract, and it's a good thing we both parties, I guess. But what did they say about 
did they say that that's that's what they wanted to show that how much they want you and we want you here for the long term? Yeah, because I think the maybe it's like uh, a long time, but uh, maybe for take my best football or, or before you go to a, a new club, you need uh, some years to, to adapting. And I think it's good. I'm not pressured and not uh, in my mind is not like uh, six months. It's like work hard, play for the team, uh, enjoy the football. And this is only the papers, but I'm happy here. Maybe I stay more years. And then we'll see um, the owners Did they say anything to you about how they see Chelsea moving forward? Because it's an exciting time for the club. Season. Yeah, no, no. When I speak, only he say me. I speak only Quetta extend his contract. It's like only uh, he say me this, but but because I'm I'm focused on on my things. But I think is the team is is very good. Maybe if arrive uh, new new players is is better for the team. But I think the level of the team is is very high. Cheers, Nick. Go to Jerry at the back. Oh. Coming to Chelsea in the higher profile here will help your international career. Do you have ambitions to go to the World Cup in Spain? Yeah, I think this is uh, one uh, big step for my career because uh, I have the opportunity to play Champions League, to to f uh, fight for for a uh, win trophies, to stay in the up on the league, and I think this is a good opportunity for me because I, if I play good, I, I I stay in a good club and I have more opportunities to play with the national team. Okay, we'll finish the section with Adam. Um, did you have a chance to speak to anybody like, say, Joao Filipueta before you joined him? And I know Thomas compared uh, you to Joao Filipueta just because of your versatility. I mean, do you see yourself as someone who could play a lot of different positions at Chelsea and, and maybe have the success that Aspi had here? Yeah, no, he's, he, I, I'm very happy with this because Azpilicueta is, is legend here. I remember sometimes when I stay with the mobile phone, I see the the players and I think Azpilicueta stay here to, to 10 years and he's, he's a, a long, he stay in, in a big club, always play every game and he stay, now he's the captain and I think uh, the Gafa compare me with this with this player is is very good for me. I have a, a good responsibility but I need work hard that he, the, he helped me a lot because he speaks Spanish and they help with the with the houses, with the schools, with the kids. And I think it's is very good for me the like the captain is, is Spanish because they help me and, and in this, and he's an important player here and, and I, I'm good. I'm happy. Okay, uh comes off now please. And we'll move on to the written section.